Okay, what's next? Topographical maps, all right? Uh, really important. I would even say a map is kind of more important than a compass. I might, I might be wrong here, but I, I'm just going on a whim here for all the experience I had. I can find north if I have to without a compass, but if I don't know what's north, I'm going to walk into the bush for nothing. Okay, so having a map and knowing where you are. Map reading skills, everybody's losing that skill. If you can't go across a lake or look over a mountain and know what you're seeing on the map compared to your landscape, that's a skill you really have to work on. It takes years, but if you can do that, that's immense to actually read a map, look and say, okay, that island is this island, that mountainscape is that mountainscape. That's really, really important, so work on that. So topographic maps. Uh, scales. Topographic maps are, the average one is one to 50,000. Forget again math, understanding the scale system. It's just blowing up and blowing in. So basically one to 10,000 is more detail, one to 100,000 is less detail. Why it's called topographical map is that it has topo, topo lines on it, which is your elevation, all right? So I'll get a close up of these later. But basically you've got these brown squiggly lines on your map. And the closer they are together, the more elevation. And what that means is if you look at the map, the distance between all those contours, no matter how wide apart they are and how close they are, is 50 feet or 15 meters, okay, on this map. And so if they're closer to part and it's 15 meters or 50 feet or wider apart, then that means the closer apart, the more elevation. So the more closely they are together, the more elevation it is, and that's going to be a cliff. You can actually find out the elevation by looking around randomly, it's like finding Waldo, but there are a few of those lines that will actually have the elevation. Like for example, 120 will be written on one of the contour lines. Well, if you're going up a mountain, just count out how many contour lines above that to the top, and then it will be the elevation of that top. The other thing that's really cool about this is distance. The easiest way to tell distance on a topographical map are your grid lines that are on the map. The little, uh, little uh, blue squares are always a thousand meters, I think what, 0.6 miles apart, okay? So you can just count the squares to find out who the distance, distance is. It's a lot easier than actually uh, doing the scale. So just count the blue squares. Each one is a thousand meters. You can tell by this map, it's really well used. Before a trip, I always write on on it, on it, my route, the things I'm going to find on my route, and then when I'm on the trip, I write on it as well. So I've got lots of these maps uh, up in storage that basically tells my journey. All right, topographical maps. Uh, you can get them online now. Uh, I actually go to libraries. Some libraries have them and photocopy them. That's a lot cheaper. But the uh, yeah, you can get them online, and. Uh, Hmm. You can download them on your GPS. If you can actually figure out where you are on the map into the landscape you're looking at, you are awesome. You'll impress your friends, family, and neighbors. Okay? All right. Next, third one, putting the map and compass together. That's in art form. And it's easy.